blocks, you stones, you worse than senseless things. Oh, you hard hearts, you cruel men of Cardiff. Knew you not my channel? Many a time and oft have you climbed up the walls and battlements to towers and windows. What a day, good morning. Cardiff Cycle Geography 2. This is what you'll see when you first come out of Cardiff Central Station. So you've come off the train from Llindyne, London, Mancanion, Manchester, Amwythig, Shrewsbury, Newid, New Haight, no, Newport, sorry. So you come out and you've arrived in Cardiff. And this is what you see. Me in a Benny hat with sunglasses. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses in the last day of January, it's because I've got dry eyes and a dark soul. So we're just going to do a little psychogeographical walk around Cardiff Central Square and the environs. Okay, I'm sure you've had enough of me at the moment, so I'll turn you around. So this is the BBC new headquarters. It's almost blotted, blotting out that crane. It's almost blotting out the sun. And uh, we have somebody with hazards coming along here. There's going to be a protest shortly. A gang of students are gathered. Uh, and this is what I would call the kind of dead zone. There used to be a, uh, a statue here. Uh, it was a kind of um, triangle. I think they moved that now down to the Cardiff wetlands. So this is the dead zone. They don't want people uh, congregating here. But a little gang have gathered. Uh, the fitness team from Cardiff students. So this is Cardiff Central Square. The beginning of it anyway. I understand that that will be offices and underneath is going to be some kind of transport hub. And just to explain to somebody who's not familiar, the BBC is actually on the site of where the Cardiff Central bus station used to be, which used to be uh, kind of, well, it was the main hub for all the buses and coaches coming into Cardiff, but uh, they've been replaced by a Pret-a-Manger which is French for eat and eat some more and, and nut allergies and things like that, isn't it? Anyway, plenty of stuff if, you, if you're peckish, but uh, very little greenery, you know. They, I don't think they want people to hang around here, do they? They just want people to move along, please, move along. There's nothing to see here. So, some more brutalist architecture after the last episode it's all glass isn't it and I'll tell you a little tale about the Great Western Railway because if it wasn't for the Great Western Railway the BBC wouldn't be standing where it is now really really Tell us more. Well, yes, we'll walk down between the BBC and the Cardiff University School of Journalism and I'm walking down now something, uh, a, a, a thoroughfare or a road that would in the old day, olden days, isn't it? the olden days, this would have been known as Eisteddfod Street because Eisteddfod Street was part of Temperance Town and the BBC are sighted on the old Temperance Town so there'd be no alcohol, no hard liquor and how different, how times have changed because look what you've got now the 
the Principality Stadium, the distillery of all things Welsh on a Saturday in the Six Nations, but didn't I? I should have brought my red rugby sweater with the Prince of Wales feathers, but uh, I think I burnt that about 20 years ago, didn't I? When I found out the symbolism. So we have here Squarganolog. I'll turn it round. We have Squarganolog. We have a, a lorry that's making a lot of noise. Stadium Plaza. So this is what you'll see. All the tourists flocking into Cardiff. You'll see the BBC blocking out the sun. You'll see big towers. Ooh! And what's that across the road? Um, a rod right. A DU. Oh, sorry. So what right? The DU government, right? So please, wherever you're coming from, don't be in two minds that you are part of the British Empire here, because you've got the the. The BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, all glass and all fur coat and no knickers, as they used to say, innit? I'm expecting a security guard to come out now. And the lights were on red, innit, for Wales. So we crossed the road, and here we have a bus stop with greenery on the top. Now the City Council showing its green connect, um, connections. Right, seen someone sleeping rough, you can help. Alert Street Link. And then we get mobile phone coverage. Right. So, so what did I a DU UK government? Right, this is the Cardiff Tax Office. They moved this down from Fanishing. And where the camera is now pointing. They actually wanted to put a huge Union Jack, but uh, the old uh, the old Welsh Nationalists weren't having it, and they created the petition, and uh, um, it was all cancelled in the end because uh, Boris Johnson had other things to think about. So this is the tax office. This is where. Welsh citizens send their self-assessments at the end of January. Dieu et mon droit. And uh, when they were showing the... I'll just turn this around again. When they were showing the plans for this, initially, this was going to be a green area, greenery. But as we saw in the last episode, Cardiff City Council seem intent on creating dead zones. They don't... It's all concrete blocks. They don't want people hanging around, making a nuisance because, you know, they, they, they got long memories. They can remember the Chartists and uh, they don't want people coming down and causing a bother, isn't it? Causing uh, revolution. So they, they've concreted it all. And uh, But one thing that they have done, which you have to applaud, and this is a magnificent, magnificent statue of the headmistress Betty Campbell, 1934 to 2017. Magnificent statue um, that was designed by the sculptress Eve Shepherd, and it was unveiled in September of 2021. And uh, Betty Campbell was the headmistress of Mount Stewart Square Primary School. And uh, she was actually voted, it was a BBC poll that um, decided who the statue should be about. So we, isn't it? Oh, is it your auntie? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just doing a, a little... Teacher. Yeah, she was headmistress yeah. of um, uh, Mount Stewart. Yeah. Your auntie? Yeah, she was oh. my auntie. I, I Betty do, Campbell. Betty yeah. Campbell, yeah. I do remember her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you and know. I was a teacher in Tolton. Were you? Well, how fantastic was that? A psychogeographer's dream. Taking a, a video of uh, the statue of Betty Campbell and uh, her niece walks up to me and we have a, a chat. Um, 
I thought, well, I won't compromise her sort of identity and confidentiality. But uh, hopefully, some of what she said is actually on this video. So uh, that's amazing, that is. Uh, and she gave me the history of of old Cardiff, and th and this is exactly what this video is about. Oh, Psychogeographical walk around Cardiff. So we're we're still in Central Square, and. Okie cokey, now then, the Great Western, Great Western Hotel. So if you look at the brickwork, this is right, more or less, right next door to Cardiff Central Railway Station. Okay, so you can get your bearings. So straight ahead, and you've bumped into the BBC. Turn right, you've passed the taxis, and you've come past the Great Western Hotel. Now, if you look at the brickwork, we will get a little bit closer to this brickwork. Oh, look at the muck on this. Chelsea tractor needs a wash at this. Now, have a look at the brickwork on this. On the, the Great Western who are recruiting from kitchen staff now. If I wasn't such a lazy middle, lower middle class flaneur, I'd apply. That'd be like... Uh, down and out in Paris and London, wasn't it, George Orwell? He was a plongeur in the Paris kitchens. Well, let's have a look at the, the brickwork on the Great Western Hotel. And this, I am led to believe, is actually ballast that came out of the old um, boats that used to come into Cardiff. This is ballast, the old rock, and any sort of old uh, masonry and rock that was on the ships they'd use it in the building which is good isn't it thank you that gargoyle seen better days a couple of drunks have climbed on that a couple of times okay now then we got a good view of this whatever this is the question is did whoever built that or is building that did they get planning permission right? It makes you wonder whether they're trying to blot out the sun here, doesn't it? The Clayton Hotel. This must be some kind of hotel. Uh, so are they trying to... Look at all the skyscrapers in the background. It's incredible, isn't it? Oh, look, my favourite building. The Zenith. You can just make out the Zenith from the first... So, I'll point the camera down here where this taxi driver's screaming around the corner. Right, so we cross the road and we'll take a closer look at this a monstrosity. It looks like the Tower of the Dark Arts, doesn't it? I mean, come on. What is this? What is this? Are there that many tourists and visitors to Cardiff that needs a hotel like that? This is incredible. My favourite uh, expression. Oh, look, they haven't blotted out the sun. The sun is over there, but they're trying. Cardiff City Council are trying to blot out the sun. This is what I'm convinced is trying to happen. Cranes. And uh, before I spoke to the lady, who was the niece of Betty Campbell, um, I passed a couple of old boys and one said, oh, I miss the old Cardiff, I miss the architecture. But, you know, these planning committees, they're not listening to people, they're not listening to anybody, they're just deciding, I know, we stick up a, a monstrosity like this, it's appalling. It is appalling. And uh, well, I'll just take you down this way, okay, so we're north of the railway tracks. In London they say north of the river, don't they? In Cardiff it's north of the railway line. And uh, I'll just take you south of the railway line. Past. This is a, a marvellous place. Is it open today? Thursday to Saturday, 9.30. You must come to Jacob's Antiques. 
Yeah, Jacob's Antiques. So we'll go. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. makes you want to weep, doesn't it? Makes you want to weep. Right, let's go here. So, if you remember from the first video, Cardiff Psychogeography 1. I took a shot of Callaghan Square from the other side of that roundabout. Okay, so if you, th this is the irony, isn't it? This is, you know, I'm no town planner, I'm no architect, but don't you want to make your city environment pleasant for people? Look at this, you've got architecture, not architecture, you've got some kind of public art that the council have obviously paid for. So they commissioned an artist to to build this. They've got a waterfall, right? Why don't they have that outside Cardiff Central train station, between the train station and the BBC? This is the BBC with Alva Liddell. Yeah, look, you can't even decide the cross. The traffic's so bad, isn't it? Look out, look out. So, we're taking a picture of this waterfall. Now, this is in the wrong place. How many pedestrians walk down here? Not many. Right? So, you've got a, a plaza. You know, all these developers want to use words like plaza and quarter, don't they? Piazza. But there's nobody down here. They've created a dead zone. So this is Callaghan Square. And there's nobody here. So Callaghan Square, look at this. Lovely, isn't it? Water. Something very relaxing about water. Why don't they move this to outside Cardiff Central train station because you know why don't you because the council don't trust human beings to behave you know in the summer people will be diving in here won't they but who who is going to use this in the summer this is the dead zone we have a statue to the dead Marquis of Butte he died in this year. So anybody who's good with Roman numerals. <sighs> 1818 perhaps. Oh look, the sun. He's still, everybody's trying to block out the sun. Okay, so I'm going to bring this psycho, Cardiff Psychogeography episode to a close. By saying, why? Why, why, Delilah? Why do you need all these huge buildings blotting out the sun? Yeah, it's absolutely uncalled for, unrequired. I won't go too fast or I might go splosh into the water and then there'd be a huge cheer from my subscribers. So, yeah. Um, but I think the, if the, the voice footage of Betty Campbell's niece has come out, I'm going to see if I can use that and, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. But um, anyway, that's it. My second Cardiff Psychogeography episode. And... Uh, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? You knows what I'm going to say. If you disliked this video and thought I was just a pile of hot air, press like. And if you don't like me or my style, press subscribe. Click on that bell 
and press subscribe and also if you hated what I had to say and disagree with me and believe that um, this is progress and this is uh, the modern way of uh, city living man then share this video okay Hello!